Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to a new tutorial on this channel. Today we are creating this interface right here for a shop app in Sketch. We, use, we are using our photographs from Unsplash as we used to do it back some months ago. And yeah, if you enjoyed the tutorial, hit the thumb up button or subscribe to the channel if you haven't. But now let's get into this tutorial. So let's start out by hitting A to create a new artboard and we are going to choose the iPhone 6 art or iPhone 7 is yeah there we have the iPhone 7 artboard right now after the new sketch update and right now after that we are going to simply grab one of the images that we have right here and we are going to choose this one simply copy it I'm of course just using the unsplash images as always and now let's just reduce the size of the image and try to make it look good on your on the artboard size that you are currently having so about like this this is the way we are going to do this now what we are going to need of course is a status bar and we want some icons like a menu and a shopping cart and so on at the top so what we are going to do is to go new from template and we are choosing an iOS UI design and after that we are seeing some of the like status bars available that we can choose from and we copy it and paste it onto our artboard like that there we have it the next thing that we are going to need are some icons as I said so we can close this up for now the next thing that we need are icons and I have the material design icon set which I really like the link to this is also down in the video description if you want to choose from the same icons as I'm doing it and we need as I said a menu icon then let's also sort, uh, go for a search icon like the magnifier that's usually the icon for searching for something um, and we need as I said a shopping cart icon so the shopping cart is right here we're going to simply copy this one to our artboard and let's also look for the magnifying glasses we can also filter this and go for different search terms and you see there we have it get rid of the search term in the filter and you can also just paste it right here okay now I think the size of these icons should be a little bit bigger around like that and of course we want to place them somewhere at the top like around there and these two icons should be on the right side like this we need to like fine-tune some of the icons because you see these two icons already look kind of nice but the menu icon looks weird because it's so big it's just way too big this is the size that it should have and that's the way that we are going to use it like that and now we are adding some text to our intro image so this is basically the top area let's add some text to the intro image hit T for that and click into your artboard artboard to just add some text now let's write down that we have like 1000 new woman items woman items like that and let's reduce the spacing because I had some kind of big spacing right here we can change the font weight and of course it should be centered let's make it smaller like that the font should be 
either way black or white so you can really read it in a good way and you, right now you see that's, that we can really see it in a good way both when it's black and when it's white so we have to make like a small walk around for that. For the moment we are going to choose the black version because all of the icons and so on are black already and we are going for a light font weight then we are copying it and we are going to make another subheadline and call this new arrivals. Let's make this bigger. We can also change the spacing again and we can of course also change the font weight And that's basically our head area, but you see of course that we can't really read the text. So what we are going to do is to grab the intro image and we are adding a fill. Now for a white text we should like make it darker and for a black text we should make it white, lighter. So we are going for a white fill and we are changing the opacity of this white filling just as much or just so much that we can like read the text. Maybe we should also just reposition the text so it's easier for the user to read it. We could place it like here at the, right here at the bottom and we could also do something else like we could get rid of the fill, we could make a new rectangle, hit R for that to draw a new rectangle and we can add some cool effects to this rectangle that we just created. You will see that in a second. Let's make it white and let's say uh, that we want a background blur. Now if you change the opacity of our background color like that you see that we have a background blur of 10 pixels. We, can of we could of course increase this or decrease this in any way that we want. Now I want to like keep it at the 10 pixels that we had at the beginning and maybe increase the background color just a little bit like that. Now that's basically the header area that we designed. Now let's go to the content area where I want to like have two categories, women and men. And let's create a new rectangle for that in a new folder. So what we want to create is a rectangle, as I said, just draw a sample one to this area. And the artboard that we have has a size of 300. Uh, 75 pixels. So we are going to say 375 divided by 2. So we get exact the exact half of the artboard size which is basically the mask for our content. So we can draw this or just use these buttons right here. Uh, track this not draw. We could draw, attract this to the left side. After we did this, and this is like the left, we can copy it and use the icon to place it at the right side. And this is the right. Maybe let's give it a different color so we can see the difference between these two. Now if we zoom in, you see that there's a small line of content, uh, of white content, of background content that isn't filled because we have this dot five uh, value right there. So we are going to just make a small walk around right here like that. So right now it looks fine. And we are now able to add some new uh, content to these boxes. Now, as I said, I want to use other images this is going to be the man area, which will be on the right side. So just paste it over there. And after that, you can simply say, I want to mask this 
area that we created, this rectangle. This is the mask and of course we will need some content for the mask. So replace or change the size of the image and just place it how you want to how you want it to be displayed. Copy the second photo which is this time on the left side and which is of course as I said for women. We will add some text in a few seconds. And right now as we ma made this a mask, you see all of these layers above the mask are also included. So we can simply say ignore underlying mask and now it's fine again. Change the size of the photo. Try to, in this case, try to like really be focused and try to really have the like faces or bodies of the of these two people are uh, in the same size or in the same yeah in the same size so it looks aligned around like this. And now. As I said, we are going to add some more texts to these images. So we use this blurred rectangle at the top and I think we just use it again. We just copy the rectangle and one of these layers and we are going to paste it onto our left side. And you see as I'm dragging down as I'm changing the uh, rectangle position, we also see that the blur is of course changing. And I love these background blurs. They are really a great feature of iOS and of course also of Sketch. And this is of course the women area, women like that. You can change the font size and make it bigger. And of course we want to change the size of the rectangle to make it so that it's fitting our content. And of course we should also change the position of it and even the height because it's way too big. We don't need to hide that much of the photo that we are working with. We can change the height also on this left, uh, on this right side. like that and now usually we should just place it at the bottom because for this intro image we also place it at the bottom so let's just do this for now I think we should increase the background color a little bit like that and now we are just able to copy it and I'm dragging it over to our second image or our second category of content which is the man area for this shopping system. Place it in the correct position and after that we say this category is for men, like that. And that's basically today's design. Let's group this up and call it bottom, for example. Shop, give the artboard a unique name. And 
Let's see, maybe we are animating this in principle in one of the next tutorials. I hope you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed it also hit the thumb up button or subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So thank you for your time guys and enjoy your week. See you!